Hey, so today we're making an oversized t shirt, round neck t shirt or polo. So, yeah, so fold your fabric into two and just check the width of your fabric or the wideness of your fabric and mark your starting line. Make sure the width is enough for what you're going for. So, mark your shoulder. Uh, my back shoulder measurement here i went with 12 or 11 i wasn't sure yet and length i marked 29 so this is the front piece i'm making here so the neck wideness i went with four inch and three in depth because you know i want it to be loose at the neck as well and for the shoulder i went with a seven as opposed to four because again is a loose fit so you can use french curve or just freehand the curve like i'm doing here so whichever one is fine now i'm marking this uh, point i made at the shoulder all the way down this will be an estimate of the wideness i'm working with and then i went ahead to mark my chest shoulder to chest line which is 9.5 but added 0.5 inch because we are going to be doing this shoulder slope so minus one inch from the shoulder line and just connect to the tip of the neck dead so now you're going to measure your you know back shoulder to chest line divide it into two but i had to extend mine first like uh, adjust rather bring it in a little so this is the final uh, shoulder measurement i went to it and just connected it to my chest line so remember that first one was just an estimate and this is the main one so i'm cross checking to make sure i have the measurement i wanted and yeah i adjusted it again so divide by two and mark go out by 0 0.5 inch on the side there and mark it again if you are good with pattern drafting or if you are familiar you know what i'm doing here so connect it to the tip of that slope of that one inch slope and just make your curve so you can freehand this again or you can use your french curve whichever one is fine so after the curve you can i added a 0 0.5 inch for stitching allowance to the wideness and just ruled it all the way down so i'm going to just cut this out this was easy i didn't mark a bust measurement or waist because it's a loose fit so for the back extend the neck uh, upward because it's not going to be deep and the length the back length i made it one inch longer as you can see here is one inch longer than the front piece and this is just for a nice fit for the thing to have a nice fit basically so i'm going to show you how to stitch or piece this together because of the length difference so this is what we have again you can see the length difference and let's get to stitching so first we'll join the shoulders together the shoulder together rather and we're going to drag the front piece to meet the back piece from the down and stitch it upward so you have this extra fabric on the armhole you just trim it off and you're good to go so for the sleeve i went with 10.5 inch i think and mark four inch at the top and three inch for the slope and just connect so this is the method i usually use to draft my sleeve and it always comes out good so whichever pattern you want to use is fine but this is how i do mine so cross check to make sure that the measurements will work or is good and adjust accordingly so for the neck piece, this is what we are going to use to cover up the neck. Uh, three inches in height and then in length or in, yeah, in length is about nine inch folded. And we are going to stitch the side together. So you can go ahead and trim it off. So make sure you get the round measurement of your neck, of your main bodice and remove one inch for this piece. 
join it together so i ended up changing the fabric of this neck piece to this because i thought that fabric since it's stretchy to be okay but it was bulky so i used this fabric instead and it came out much much better so i hope this helps and you know i'll see you in my next video bye bye